Hear those gunshots? What's going on, guys? Flip the camera here. All right, so can you see me? No, probably not. A little bit. All right, so just walking around Gettysburg. Um, got some equipment on me. Um, just me, so uh, got the DR60 on me and my Panda box. I'm just gonna bop around uh, a little bit, walking around, see what we can capture. Uh, so if you guys hear something that I don't, uh, please let me know. I'm not sure how much light we're gonna have, but I'll do my best. I got a car coming, so I'm gonna step off the road here. Happy Halloween as well. Oof. All right, so look at that moon. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh man, another car. All right, so as I said, I got, uh, I don't know if you can see it, DR60 on me, as well as Panabox. Uh, yeah, a little hard to see. And I'll be uh, just kind of bopping around, see what we find. I'll do an EVP session, do a Panabox session. What's going on, Ian? Happy Halloween. Yeah, it is. It is beautiful here. Let me see if I can turn the camera here. Oh, look at that. That is... That is perfect. Oh, I thought having a new light would work, but... I'm uh, probably not going to see much. Normally, my camera's a lot better than this. Oh, we love it, Elizabeth. We love being in Gettysburg. All right, so I'll try to get close up to this here. So this is, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, read that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. For the Ohio Infantry Monument. Um, I'm down at the bottom of, uh, of uh, Cemetery Hill here. Uh, gonna get ready to walk into the grove, uh, just right in through there, but uh, might walk up to the top of the hill, uh, depending on how much can be seen, as I don't have much light, apparently. This light doesn't work as well for Facebook Live as it does regular videos. Hey, how's it going, guy? So, not very visual, but I'm gonna walk up to the top of Cemetery Hill here, show you guys some statues. Uh, as we walk up, I guess I'll uh, throw the panda box on and see what we find. Give me one second. All right, so if you guys have never seen this, um, it is a modded radio. And I've been using it a lot lately. Um, absolutely love it, and it runs like a spirit box. Uh, we'll see what we find. Hi guys, are there any soldiers out here? How many of you are here? My name's Grayson Stuber, and I just came out to talk to you guys that are here. Can you introduce yourself to me? It is so dark out. 
Last night it was so, so light out you could see everything. I am climbing a hill right now. You can't tell. Look at that. The gun? Did you see the gun? I did? Oh, wow. What kind of gun is this? I think it's a little more than a gun. How many of you are here right now? Cavaliers. Is there anything we can do for you? Did you hear that where it said the gun? Are there Union or Confederate soldiers here? <laughs> Trying to stay out of people's way as well. I'm going to try to get away from some people here and do a uh, turn off the panda box, do an EVP session. I'm going to camp out. Oh, there's people over here. There's people everywhere. to find a oh. spot here. Ricketts battery. I don't know if you guys can read that. This is absolutely awesome artwork. Oh, might be hard to read that, but. I 
All right, so this monument that I'm getting ready to walk up, not this one here. That is pretty cool though. Never saw this monument before. It's like half my size. What is that? I've never seen this one before, to be honest with you. But uh, someone sent us a picture of this monument here that I'm walking up to, where it looked like someone was sitting on top of it. Now, it's pretty tall. Um, so I'm about six one, so that'd be what, seven or eight foot. So for someone to get up there and take a lot of effort, especially trying to hop up on there. And uh, the picture looked as if someone was sitting right on the edge up there. And that'd be quite the feat. I don't remember who that was that sent that to us, but um, I remember coming out here and trying to debunk it because people sitting on a monument like this is an absolute disgrace. Okay, so actually, so this archway there, which is now, I believe, the cemetery, is right over there, and you're not going to be able to see it. Yeah, actually, you might be able to. Here, I'll get closer. Absolutely beautiful night for this. Oh, all right. There you go, you can see the archway a little bit. Wait for some cars to go by. Oh, there you go. Actually, there you go. There you go. You guys see that archway? Someone has bright enough headlights, you can see it. All right. I do want to do some investigating. Um, just want to show around some area here. Uh, uh, what's this say? All right, probably not going to be able to read that. Ah, uh, so there's actually a horse statue right here. I don't know if you guys can, ah, uh, lighting is not good at all. Kind of see the silhouette there. Then I'm going to venture back down the hill towards the grove and bop around there for a little bit. Oh. So all these artillery, all these cannons here, we're just facing out 
down the hill here and just started dropping all that artillery on people. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hi. 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 Oh, hi. hi. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I was like, did I do something wrong? Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Some lady almost like, ran right into me. It was interesting. All right, we're gonna use the DR60 down here to clear some space up. Hey, I see Dan Brown is watching. I miss you, buddy. All right, so now we're on the lower road. We're gonna go into the grove here. Ugh. Too old for this, bad knees. Smells weird out here. We're gonna get away from all these vehicles here. We're gonna go deep into the woods. So actually, there was a woman and her husband who was hanging around the gate up there. And I decided to, I think maybe, you might've read the story here. They asked if I could show them around. So I brought them back through here where we're going to this creepy little bridge. And we heard this woman, this woman's voice that, uh came out of nowhere and it uh scared us scared all of us and unfortunately she started crying and i feel i still feel bad about it so if you end up seeing this ma'am i'm sorry uh but i got her out of here uh just in case anything happens i don't think anything will if i trip or fall or get hurt or something just know that i'm at the grove by myself or if I get possessed, which would that would be pretty interesting. I don't think it'll happen. Doubtful. All right. So let's do a quick EVP session right here before I proceed further back towards where that lady, uh, we got scared. Still see the moon here. All right. EVP session at the Grove. All right, who's here with us right now? Can you tell me your name, please?
Did you fight for the Union or Confederacy? What state are you from? Do you know what day it is? Can you tell me where you are? How old are you? Is there a message that you have for anyone? Are you still fighting the battle? Can you tell me who the president is? I don't know if you could hear that gunshot. Could be a farmer though. There it is again. I'm gonna go deeper into the woods here. Do you mind coming and talking to me when I get down to the bridge in the pond? Ending EVP session. Oh, I've been holding that in. EVP session is gross. Uh, who's here with us right now? Can you tell me your name, please? Did you fight for the Union or Confederacy? Nope, can't see me. All right. So I don't like to make any assumptions on what was in there. Um, hopefully there was, uh, hopefully maybe you guys heard something. Um, it was kind of weird that the recorder didn't stop. Normally, uh, when there's no sound, it would stop for us. And you're able to pick through whenever something says something. Um, might have to play with it just for a little bit to see if I can get it to do that again. It's kind of odd it didn't do that. So I'm going to continue my little trek through here. And get back to that bridge.
There's another gunshot. At this point, I think it's probably a farmer. Sorry guys, my light's not very good, but uh, So here we are, and this is that bridge that I said about. Um, still feel really bad about that incident. So standing right here, uh, just talking, and the she was right here, and this voice came from behind around the tree there. It just, I it, I still don't, I still don't know what's going on with that. It just it still blows my mind. So I start bringing people back here a lot now. Um, so here's this, the full bridge. Whenever this area floods, this bridge is kind of cool to come across so that way you can, uh, my apologies. You can still cross through the area here. Having technical difficulties here. Set up. Setting up the panda box here, real quick. All right, guys. Oh, I came out again to find out what's the name of that female that scared me. What was her name? You say David? Who's David? Is there anything I can do for you? A lot of radio static right now. I don't know why. It's not normally that loud. I don't know why it's making that noise right now. All right, we'll just do another DR60 session. All right, so we'll do another EVP session. We'll set this DR60. We'll set it right here. There, one frame there. DR60 uh, EVP session at the little bridge. So what is your name? Can you tell me why you're here? Are you lost? Hey, if anyone watching, can you guys tell me the time quick? Do you know where we are? Thank you, Christine.
Can you walk across this bridge? Can you make this noise for me? Can you finish this knock? The other week when I had some friends out here, when we asked if there was any message they had, they said, I love you. Who am I supposed to pass that message on to? I'm going to assume a family member. Can you tell me who it was? I'm not going to stay long. Just wanted to come out and chat before this area gets flooded with a bunch of people. I also wanted to wish you a happy Halloween. If you ever need anything, you know, you can tell myself or any of my investigators, uh, Cheyenne, Ken, or Henry, you tell them what you need. We can do our best to help you, whether it's delivering a message or bringing something out. Ending EVP session. Hang on, listen what to is this. Let's say Michael. Can you tell me why you're here? So what is your name? Can you tell me why you're here? Are you lost? Is anyone watching? Can you guys tell me the time click? Well, um, well, 
our car looks terrible, so please don't mind. Um, the only thing I could really tell in there is it sounded like right there at the beginning when I asked what your name was. I think it said Michael. Um, let me know if what you guys heard, um, what you guys think. If you guys didn't hear that, please tell me what you guys heard on that. Um, I don't like to, to jump into conclusions on what I hear until I can actually, um, you know, put some headphones in and actually give it a full, uh, full analysis. Hopefully something doesn't appear behind me. That'd be pretty interesting. Uh, well, thank you to whoever was out here talking to me. I believe you said your name was Michael. If that was your name, I want to thank you. I'm going to listen to this later. And see if there's anything I can do for you. I'm out here a lot. So is my, our, our team members. They're out here a lot. So feel free to walk up and talk to them. We wouldn't bring anyone out here to harm you. Oh, I love this bridge. I don't know if you guys can see it well, but it's creepy and I love it. Um, so, I'm just going to do a, a little walk out through here. Um, probably, probably too many people out there to actually do anything uh, at the front of the area of the grove. So, I might do more lives later. It'll probably be later in the night. Um... Not sure when, so uh, stand by to stand by. I'll probably go somewhere else um, if I do anything. So I just want to wish you guys a happy Halloween. Thank you for coming with me. And, uh, well, I'm going to walk out just because if something happens, if I get possessed and disappear. Uh, Michael, this is actually... So if you go to... Um, if you go to Mr. G's, um, the, the ice cream shop... And you walk up this hill, um, if you walk up the hill there, it'll take you um, to, the, to the, the cemetery hill there. And you bank a left into the wooded area, it's called the Grove. And you follow the paths back, and it'll take you, you'll have to wander quite a bit back through, and it'll bring you out to that bridge, the little bridge there. Um, if you send me, a, if you send me a, a personal message there on Facebook, I can give you uh, better directions on how to get back there to it. Um, or if you ever come with us, you know, um, we can take you back there for sure. Um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I'll do my best to help you out. Oh, Sandy, you did come back to me with the bridge? I can't, I couldn't remember. Um, I love it back there now. Okay, yeah, so it looks like there's people up here. Um, I'll probably cut the feed once I get closer to them, but I don't want to be... I don't want to be alone in the woods. I'm scared. No, not really. Um, like I said, though, I might do a live later. I know I have to take over for a group from 9 to 10. So maybe from 10 to 11, I might be able to, uh, to do some more investigating for you all. Uh, we'll see what happens. So stand by to stand by on that. Oh, I wish I could still see the moon here. Oh, so beautiful. All right, but um, let me know if there was anything you guys saw in there um, or heard or anything like that. Uh, hopefully I can get around to, to listening back to that. Um, thanks again, guys. Happy Halloween. I hope to uh, do some more later. Thanks for watching.